Okay, in uh, today's lecture, I'm going to show you uh, a new uh, mixed uh, tower model. Uh, in today, I'm gonna build up on the previous uh, uh, previous tower file that I did with the cladding. If you remember this one, I think not the one that I, I posted yesterday, but I think a couple of uh, it's actually, actually a week ago. So uh, this cladding. Now I'm gonna add the skin to it. So we're gonna have a multiple or a complex. Uh, uh, complex exterior uh, facade for this tower, so I'm gonna keep the 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 tie the the cladding that you're gonna have here, or we have actually here, and I'm gonna add to it an exterior skin, which is based on that an offset uh, offset of that surface. So it's basically uh, mixing those two files that uh, the recent two files that I posted on YouTube. Uh, anyway, so you might notice that this is an adaptive uh, component uh, curtain wall base system and uh, we need now to uh, go and uh, make an offset for that specific surface which is this one. So if I preview this guy here, uh, not this one, yeah, yeah, this one it's actually, so I'm gonna take a copy of the geometry and then just to create another uh, paneling here for it but before i need to take the surface out of that and uh, anyway if, if i run that model with this current condition it's going to be so slow so it's a good idea to switch off this for a couple of seconds so it doesn't model that uh, for now uh, and i'm gonna go and make an offset here and i'm gonna take this one offset surface offset actually and I'm gonna take this here and connect it here and I need now uh, that's an offset I need an hour distance so let's say an, a 10 meter away and then connect it let's have a run throw that and then we see what uh, actually we're gonna have Beautiful. So what we what we have here is an an offset of that model uh, going outside the geometry, as you can uh, see here in this uh, model. So now it's about uh, 10 meter. Uh, probably we make it 15. And if I open this one, I uh, will have uh, this uh, one uh, one object or one major surface has been here. Uh, this one list dot amount on two so that's been dropped out beautiful so there is no upper cap or lower cap beautiful so now we need to control that surface and uh, try to get a, a something beneficial out of it uh, let's have a look again on this one so that's the surface dot offset now we need to add uh, some paneling to it so I'm gonna go ahead and add panel and dot panel again it's a part of lunchbox uh, i'm not going to take quad as i did last time it's going to be a little bit boring i'm going to go to triangle a and b and c i'm going to go b uh, you can go ahead and try them uh, they're really nice so that's the surface and probably we need to double click that guy and make 10 here and connect those together or make them uh, just separated in order to make a different pattern in the U and the V and then we go on that again beautiful so now it's been divided as triangular patterns uh, as you can see so now we need to as you can have a look in here that it's already been uh, divided into triangular so if I just uh, pattern so I just remove that like you see what we have in here it's really nice uh, to have the subdivisions after that uh, you can just uh, open that to see what you have you have here surfaces and they are all uh, listed as a really accumulated system and uh, it's actually a double list or a triple list uh, how many lifts do we have? Uh, two. So anyway, flat that or flatten that. Okay. So you can... No, nope, not you. Not you either. It's easier to copy-paste, isn't it? So just like... 
Yeah, it was this one from the beginning anyway. So copy, paste. So I'm gonna take that. You uh, knew. Relink that. Remove that actually. Beautiful. So I'm gonna flatten that. Let's run that again. Now, if I open this, beautiful. See, that's all the surfaces now. Uh, just the unique. Uh, they don't uh, have like this multiple listed uh, list inside each other. Uh, but just to have a look, probably we I made a mistake here. Uh, this list is the surfaces, so it's correct. This guy probably it's points. Okay. So uh, here, before we do that. Uh, we need to use the list, this one and this one, to get the uh, only one items from this, which is the panels. I don't, I don't want the points, so I'm gonna copy paste this one. It's very similar to the skin example that we did uh, in the recent example. So we we need to get rid of this second one. So I'm gonna get only the first one. So run that. So only surfaces, as you can see. And those surfaces actually they are flattened, so we don't need to flatten now anyway, or just keep it. Uh, next, uh, we need to get the surface parameter. Yeah, parameter curves. Let's uh, connect those guys and then run. Now, if you open that, you're going to see they are basically uh, triangular or, or a tri-system. There are three, one, two, three lines. So that's good if you have a triangular panel, but again, we don't have a triangular panel. We have, we need them to make them start and end point. So just connect this, flat that system of, of lists into a, a sequence of individual curves. And then you're gonna go to uh, curve uh, dot point or start point actually. So that's the start point, and then you're gonna get end point. You want to know where it's the start, where it's end. So, and then of course you need to list them, and then transport transpose that. So I'm gonna do that quickly. So, so see if you run that thing. Each curve, you gonna get the start point and the end point for it. So the list is not kind of annoying. Uh, long for list, start point, and then long list for the end point. We don't want that. We want to transpose that. So transpose. So we gonna create each two in a list. That's technically what we need. And as you can see, it's it's all been here, wrapping around the cladding system which I by, by the way turn it off and I'm um, depending on the previous one that I get from the previous run for this example uh, see that's what we want so a list start and now we're gonna go and steal this guy here those two things that create the panel so copy paste them and toy take those two things far away so those lists are just the, uh, those points actually, so that's points here. And this guy in here is basically, we don't need the clad, adaptive component, uh, curtain wall base, we need, uh, what do we need? We need an adaptive point, a normal adaptive point based on two points, so if I go here, I already prepared that for you. It's the same thing that we've done in the previous uh, example. It's just an adaptive component. Uh, it's a tubular or cylindrical system. It's just loaded. If you don't know how to do that, just revise the video that I did uh, last lecture or last tutorial in my YouTube. Just cancel that. Just, we need to load that in the system. It's been loaded, so now you can pick it up. Yeah, cylindrical beam. Now run that thing again. We should get uh, a really nice uh, patterns of a skins, triangular patterns of a skin around this cladding system. So it's really nice to have both methods and to learn how to offset any geometry and then clad it or skin it differently from the one before. 
Uh, I don't know why it's taking too long, probably because it's building the adaptive component here. Uh, again, be aware of how much U and Vs you have. And imagine now it might take a long time. Imagine now if I run the cladding. So those or this system is, uh, or this type of work is actually, it can, can be really, really drill the speed or slow the speed down. Uh, probably you need to do uh, each one individually if, if you are having, a, if you are actually having a, a very slow uh, machine like mine. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you are lucky and uh, have a good money and you bought a good system, uh, you can keep them together and enjoy the, 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 uh, the privilege of having the, such a nice machine. Uh, again, uh, probably you might see those edges of the lower base of the uh, of the tower might not, might overlap in here. That's normal because uh, lack of segments or lack of lack of UV that we have will cause that to jump probably to cross around in a in an area because it doesn't have enough U's and V's to crossing or to follow a correct curvy path uh, around the geometry. Anyway, see. That's what happened exactly what I was talking about. You can fix this easily by uh, go ahead to you and these and increase that. I'm a little bit scared of doing that because uh, it's gonna be it take for forever, like 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 what happened in the last uh, tutorial. Uh, probably you see this uh, you see this uh, orange skin. You can just uh, right click here, I think, and then off it, or you can just uh, close this, save it, and then open it again. You will not find that if you don't run uh, Dynamo anyway. Uh, so that's my skin goes around as you can see select one of those guys and you can go here that you have a radius we can just point five or whatever thickness and when you hit that okay it's, it's gonna be recalculating as you can see in here to increase the thickness of the skin or the adaptive component based on two points that we prepared and you're gonna, gonna get different results as you can see uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated geometry uh, I like it actually, it's uh, really complex. It's uh, based on a lots of triangles uh, added here as uh, panels, and uh, on the in the back, you'll uh, you actually see the the curtain system behind. So now you have now much more complicated uh, geometry in your uh, in your machine, and uh, you can just uh, explore the possibilities of having uh, both options uh, I'm gonna just filter that down and then uh, I'm gonna just filter that down and uh, remove the level and I'm gonna delete that now we have both curtain wall system and uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and the adaptive component the skin uh, I turned off that so it doesn't take too much time so if, if I run that so you can have a better idea of what I was doing uh, and again remove these things so that's that's the triangular system that I'm, I'm talking about, as you can see here. That's the uh, triangular A. So if you want to have a look quickly of uh, panel dot panel, we have lots of uh, triangular systems A, B, C. Uh, A, for example, you can just add this guy here and then those here and then connect this one here and just turn off that run it and you see different patterns of triangular system I found B is the, the best or the most uh, beautiful actually uh, let's see the different let, let me show you the different uh, other methods that are available actually for the panel dot panel uh, launch box division See this uh, this way of dividing. It's like uh, just a lateral one, or like a full rectangle, and one one from the sides. That's A. And we have also, I think, uh, C. That's a triangular system. We can uh, connect those here, and that's the surface, and then the panel here, and then we run that again. And by the way, I just turn off the, or I delete the curtain system, and I also disconnect it 
just for speeding things up. This one might also be interesting. Look at the nice uh, way of making a uh, triangular, almost no, no uh, rectangular framing for that. So can we just make this uh, 20 by 20 wishing it doesn't take too long. Let's uh, have a look at and if we increase if we increase this the UNVs, uh, so we can get better understanding of this. Yeah, it's taking forever. Anyway, so it's it's good actually to uh, have a having have a go and explore all those. So uh, you see this uh, while well, it's still calculating the geometry. That's what we usually we've been doing in the last tutorials. Diamond is also nice. Uh, I think they have both rectangle and uh, uh, quadrant shape. So you technically end up by having two panels, uh, one for the triangles and one for the quad. Uh, hexagonal are also the same. They have more than one option inside. Uh, so now we have that finish. It's a little bit, uh, it's really nice to have a look at this. And again, uh, we can just uh, remove the preview out of this so that's the final uh, skin actually and beneath that should be the, the clad if you connect this actually you could only must connect this so you can get the clad downside as we did in the middle uh, lots of options that's a diamond so you should have end up with having quad and triangles hexagonal for example or hexagonals you're gonna have you're gonna have hex and you're gonna have uh, uh, penta uh, and we're gonna have a quad so three types you technically need three lines of those so you have to copy that again and again three times and connect all each one of them uh, and then uh, this one also nice it's quad and staggered one of them pure and the other one is divided into rectangle I'll leave that for you to explore so basically in this tutorial I'm, I'm mixing again both method with cladding and, and, and skinning so that's line with this is for the clad system adaptive component and its family base but I disconnected as I said just to fasten the process and then I have a surface offset and from the surface offset I create an, an extra shell from the basic one and then I use the adaptive panel again but this time uh, depending on the panel uh, adaptive uh, adaptive component system creating start point and end point and then creating uh, adaptive component above that I wish that you find that useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, in the next tutorial, I'll go uh, more deeper with uh, uh, the way we make uh, subdivision surfaces for the facade. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day.